Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make sourdough tortillas. They are so soft and chewy, and they're very easy to make. All you need is some all-purpose flour, salt, baking powder, and some vegetable shortening. And you can throw these together and have delicious tacos or sandwich wraps that I just know that you're gonna love. So if you wanna learn how to make these, stay tuned and let's get started. In a small bowl or measuring cup, combine the water and the sourdough starter together and mix that up and set it aside. Next, you will add the all-purpose flour, the sea salt and baking powder to a medium-sized mixing bowl and toss that with a fork to combi combine. Then you will add the vegetable shortening to the bowl. Now you take your hands and mix that vegetable shortening into the flour mixture. You can squeeze it between your fingers. You can see I'm kind of rubbing it and squeezing it and then I use my hands to rub it between my hands to get that vegetable shortening incorporated into the flour. And it should feel like a fine sandy consistency once it's done. Now go ahead and pour the water sourdough starter mixture into the bowl. I like to use an offset spatula to get this started and then switch over to my hands and just squeeze and mix this dough together until there's no dry bits left in the bowl. And it's going to be very stiff. So cover this up and let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and just kind of work it a little bit. And then cut the dough into 16 pieces. Each piece should weigh about 44 grams. Now you're gonna take each piece and roll it into a ball. And I like to take the dough and pull, pinch the sides up and then turn that over and then just kind of gently slide it and kind of create a nice little ball shape. Place the dough balls either into a container like this or onto a parchment lined baking sheet and cover it and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes or you can stick that in the fridge for up to two days. Now you're gonna have a cast iron skillet preheating at this point, but working one at a time, you're going to roll each dough ball out into a round that is about six inches in diameter. And then working, you know, one at a time, you're gonna cook these on each side. On the first side, it's going to start to bubble up when it's ready, and the bottom will be nice and charred. And you can start rolling out the next one while this one is cooking. Again, don't be afraid to use a little bit of flour when you're rolling out your tortillas so that they don't stick to your surface or the rolling pin. But just roll it out as thin as you possibly can. So you can see the, the other side is nice and charred. So put that in your towel. Wrap those up to keep them warm and then just proceed with your next tortilla. All right, that's how easy it is to make these homemade sourdough tortillas. You can store these at room temperature for a few days, just wrap them up in a towel like this to keep them covered, or you can freeze them for up to three months. I would 
put a piece of wax paper in between each tortilla and then insert that into a freezer safe bag and just keep them frozen. So we really hope that you love this recipe as much as we do. And until next time, bye.